This is a daily love podcast. L O V. Legere, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to live. The Word made flesh. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Magdi on behalf of the Lexi Divina team bringing you the daily love podcast. We are in the fifth and last week of Lent. In two days, we enter into Holy Week. During this time of prayer, let us contemplate the cross where the, where the love of God is revealed and allow ourselves to be loved by our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by exploring the Word of Christ that we root ourselves in Him, deepen our relationship with Him, and see His presence in our life. So, dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Spirit of Truth, who comes from Thee, Holy God, enlighten our minds and lead us all to the truth as Your Son promised us. Amen. So today we are in the Gospel according to John, and we read chapter 10, verses 37 and 38. If I am not doing my Father's work, there is no need to believe in me. But if I am doing it, then even if I, if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work, to, work I do. Then you will know for sure that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. So just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. The opponents of Jesus were ready with stones to kill him. Yet he stood calmly and tried to win them with his words. Though, though Jesus did not directly tell them that he is the Messiah, he allowed his words and works to reveal who he is. The problem with the opponents was that they were too blinded with their own preconceived ideas and ways that they could not open their hearts to faith. They saw Jesus as a carpenter, an ordinary person, and thus they could not accept him as their long-awaited Messiah. Jesus is the light of the world. We had the choice to be in the light or to remain in our darkness. No matter what Jesus did, the opponents in Jerusalem chose to remain in the dark. They refused to see and believe. The simple people across Jordan, however, saw the works of Jesus, and many believed in Him. What is our stand today? Do we believe? So just a question for us to meditate on today. There are many people today who still do not believe in God. How can we show them by words and deeds, that God is real, and that He is worthy of their love. Today, the prayer intentions are for all of you listeners and our Love Verbum Die family, composed of 270 members, especially for Alexa friend of the Lexi Divina family. We pray our loving Father to protect her and give her the grace to always see God in all that she does. O Lord, grant her the strength to carry out every good work for the building of your kingdom. May our Lord protect Alexa and deepen her faith, strengthen her hope, and increase her love. We now pray for our three communities as motherly, Legion of Mary from St. Teresa's Church, Living World Water in Trinidad and Tobago, and for our clergy and religious, for Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarians in the Clifton Diocese, that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Morgan, who entered the Carmelite Order as a novice and is finding it difficult, for Father Richard, Sister Sujata, and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Tolentino Food Bank, and all the people in great need in these difficult times. The SVD priests, Father John OCD, Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Rupert, Father Adam, and Father Larry, 
including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for Hani and Salu Amina of Stevenage, going through palliative care. May the Lord give them strength and peace during this time. We now conclude this time together by bringing all our intentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she can intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. God bless you all, and please share with your friends, relatives, and community. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and to follow us on Instagram. The Love Verbum Day Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us prayer intentions, use our email address, which is lov underscore verbum dei, V-E-R-B-U-M-D-E-I, at outlook.com. Thank you.